Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another analysis video. My name is Alexander Nikitin. I am a full-time trader, programmer and a trading coach. Okay, today is the 5th of October, Wednesday. And the pair I'm going to analyze is Euro Yen. My analysis consists of two parts. The first part is to analyze the high time frame and the second part is to go to my trading time frames to find some reasons for entry. Okay, when I analyze my higher time frame, I need to ask two questions. What the price is doing now and what the price is most likely to do next. And I use several steps. First, I need to find nine candle fractal formation. What I mean, I will show you in the market. Uh, this means that I should find the high and the four candles on the left side before this high, one, two, three and four, should have lower highs than that. Sorry. Should have lower highs, one, two, three and four. And on the right side, there are also should be four highs that are lower. One, two, three, and four. If this criteria is met, I go take my rectangle tool and draw the zone from the high to the body of the candle or to the highest close of the candle. And this zone is called a bit zone let it be something like this bit zone is red and I do the opposite for low for example let's look at this low you see it on the left I should have at least four lows that are higher one two three four and on the right I should also have four lows that are higher one two three and four if this criteria is met I draw a rectangle from the body to the lowest low or from the lowest close to the lowest low and since then this zone is called a bit zone see it very very simple we can also calculate some most recent things look at this high on the left of that one two three four highs lower one two three and four highs lower on the right high right side so this is a good fractal here and it should be red or something looking red because it is the bit zone look at this here on the left side we have one two three four highs that are lower and on the right side we obviously have four candles that are lower so I need to take a rectangle tool and draw another bit zone from the high of that candle to the body of that candle or to the close of that candle I need to do that and let me analyze that lowest point on the left I have one two three four lows that are higher than that low and on the right I have one two three four at least that are higher as well in this case I draw my rectangle that symbolizes ask zone let it be green for ask so. <coughs> so the concept is very simple. When price goes to the bid zone that is red, yes, you need to sell. And when price goes to the ask zone that is green, you need to buy. To simplify that uh, process of drawing, I have created an indicator that does uh, this uh, operations automatically 
it calculates uh, the highs and lows finds fractals and draws rectangles let me go to my indicators I call it fractal ZZ and I only need it to be run on daily if you are day trading uh, for example trading 15 minutes or 5 minute charts it will be good for you to have a 1 hour time frame for analysis and 5 minute time frame for uh, finding reasons for entry if you are a swing trader like me uh, it is good to analyze daily at a high time frame and go to your 4 hour or hourly as your trading time frame so I only want it to be run on daily okay you see it draws automatically the zones the bid zone and the ask zone selling zone buying zone so I have identified that price uh, is at the bid zone and my prediction is that once it hits the bid zone it should go and reverse as it done many many times previously let me mark that zone with that line like this it reversed here it reversed second time and even it reversed the third time we can see this same zone acted as support and I bet if we go deep into history we will find more examples how this zone is acting deep into history let's go deep into history to find that zone acting here you see very very long ago it was preventing price from going higher acting as resistance and then it was broken and again let us go a bit deeper and it acted here very good it was not acted here very good if only these highs these spikes and here here a bit lower okay hope I gathered enough evidence uh, for you to show that this zone is of great significance uh, not every time but many many times when price goes to these levels uh, the market turns either to the upside or to the downside so this is the way fractals work okay so my prediction is that we will most likely have a bounce and look at that the overall direction is to the downside let me see if the trend line is good yes and if we uh, connect these highs on that we also have a trend line resistance as well so think like other trader uh, some of traders we start selling here because we had the resistance that previously was support other traders will start selling here because we have a trend line uh, trend line uh, retest uh, other traders can start selling here for some other reasons the more people will start selling here the more the higher is the probability that price will go lower okay so let us switch to four hour time frame and the only thing I need to find is the W type or M type formation in this case I'm looking for a selling opportunity I want a W type formation so look at this letter W it consists of four legs like this traditionally these legs are named XA AB BC and CD these legs are named XA AB BC and CD so the next step is to measure these legs to do that I need to take my Fibonacci tool first I measure the first leg 
from the high to the low and I see that the second leg retraced to 50% of the first leg AB is 50% a bit higher than 50 than XA this means that I have potentially a bad pattern formation then I measured the second leg and I see that the retracement goes lower than 618 and not touching 786 this meets my criteria my criteria says that the retracement should be from 382 to 100 very wide range so this is just in the middle of that range a bit lower than the middle of that range if these two criteria I met I then come back to measure my first leg once again and I look at 886 line to be the completion leg so let me extend this leg price needs to go a bit higher to touch that line the trading rule says uh, okay just place a limit order it will be very nice after you place your limit order if your stops will go above these highs above the bid zone the most safety zone uh, that is possible that's manual trading okay and let me demonstrate to you how my half automatical pattern search works it does it this way you see it draws the triangles and it draws the lines of entry stops and target the blue line is the entry we are going short the green line is the target it is 32 from A to D and the red line is above this bid zone is the stop loss okay I have programmed my uh, pattern search tool the way that it always places uh, the stop loss line uh, at 0 0.786 of the target so you always have 0 0.786 risk and your target is 1 as compared to target your risk is always less 0 0.786 and usually in most cases it coincides with uh, 113 Fibonacci extension 0 0.786 of the target always okay that's it a bad pattern if price goes a bit higher touches the limit order I will be in this trade so guys um, hope you like that video if so uh, press those thumbs ups uh, subscribe to my videos feel free to comment them uh, ask me questions and I will answer them until then good luck trade your plan I hope to see you soon.